What's up, everybody? Hey, uh, so as you guys know, I've been re-releasing all my mixtapes, and uh, I I didn't really I didn't change anything on the mixtapes. They are original. Um, however, for those of you that have ever heard "Sad Girl Part 2, um, on the original one, on track number fourteen, um. Back in 1996, when I released it, my sister was on there, my dad was on there, and my mom was on there. And uh, they did drops for me. Um, it was just something that I wanted to do. And, you know, unbeknownst to me, I never thought I would have a family. Like, you guys have no idea. I'm, I'm 47 years old. Um, yes, I have an 18-year-old stepdaughter. She's in college right now. So, but I have two little ones that are for me. One of them just turned four and the other one just turned one. I'm 47 years old. So, yes, I lived a very fast life and I never thought I was going to have children. But with the power of technology, I was able to add Juanita, Amariah, and Aveliciana. Now, Aveliciana cannot really say many words. She could say daddy and hi, and that's about it. But with the power of technology, I was able to add them. Um, and I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Um, but like I said, Sad Girl Part 2 has my sister, my dad, and my mom. And as you guys know, my parents passed away. My dad passed away last year. My mom passed away this year. And uh, when, I was, uh, when I was mastering these mixes, I forgot that they were on there. And I heard her voices and I'm like, oh my God, it, you know, I brought tears to my eyes because yes, yeah, you know, it hurts. My parents passed away. They're with the Lord now. And, and, um, so I, you know, did, I heard her voices and, you know, they did support me, uh, me being a DJ and the things that I've done. Um, they would always back me up, but with the power of technology, when I was remastering the, the, the mixes, um, just on this mix where my parents say, Hey, you're in the mix with my son. Uh, where my sister's on, I added Juanita and I added Amariah and Ave. Um, <clears throat> so the mixes are, they're already at the manufacturing plant. They are being produced. They are being made. Uh, they are going to be on real CDs. And for those of you that haven't ordered the CDs that I currently have, um, I still have a few uh, to send out. There's a set of six. Um, it's the Crybaby Part 1. Just so you guys know, I'm in I'm in my uh, my uh, my den. I got my turntables right here. Now this is just so you know, give you guys some inside uh, stuff. This right here was actually airbrushed uh, for me back in 1996. Uh, it was an uh, airbrush artist out in Waukegan, and also made this. So that's why they look very old school. Uh, it was done by hand. These are my turntables. These are the ones that were used to make a lot of those classics that you guys like. Um, Juanita made me some tacos today. I seen these on uh, online, the, the Spam tacos. We, we don't eat Spam, but I was like, man, they look so good. So she made me Spam tacos. Um, you know, you guys wanna see my sound systems. If you guys ever need a DJ or anything like that for your wedding or quinceanera, they're all white. Top of the line sound system. These are Daz Adios. And I also have a photo booth. Um, when people come over for a consultation for like their wedding or quinceanera, you know, I go through everything and I, I don't have a lot of my old mixtapes, like the majority of my mixtapes, the actual cassettes that were released. I don't have many copies of them. I, in fact, I don't have any of the sad girls, the actual cassettes, you know, back then I wasn't really thinking about saving copies. And anytime I had a copy playing in the car, you know, someone would sit in my car or a friend of mine or something and would ask me for it and grab it, you know. So <laughs> a lot of those mixtapes, just like a lot of you have lost them, so did I, but I have my masters. However, I do have the original cover 
This is one of the original covers of, of a Sad Girl Part 2. And as you guys know, you know, they, they sold like crazy. It was the best all-time selling uh, mixtape in Chicago ever. Um, did very well. You guys love these mixtapes, and yes, they are being re-released. And also the Sad Girl 3, which doesn't have a 3, but, you know, this is the Sad Girl Part 3. A lot of people confuse this for Part 1 because there's no number. Um... But anyways, yes, and there's a picture of me. So this is one of the original ones. Um, but I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys this mix and how I uh, added Juanita and the girls right after my parents set a drive uh, a drop for me. You know, you're in the mix with my son. You're in the mix with my brother. But just so you guys know, you can order these still. Text me, 773-370-6226. It's Crybaby, part one. Cry Baby Part 2. The Crying Game Part 1. The Crying Game Part 2. These are all remastered. So they sound amazing. When you put them in your car or you put them at home or you burn them or whatever for yourself, um, they're going to sound amazing. These are real CDs. They are not burnt copies. And then also Untouchables. So I have also Brown Pride, Crying Game Part 2, and Crying Game Part 1, and then both uh, Cry Babies 1 and 2. Um, and <clears throat> just to let you know what, what's going on, DJ Aztec and I are going to be re-releasing or releasing new mixes very, very soon. He's working on his portion, and uh, I'm working on my portion, so... We're going to be working on actually both sections together, but just back and forth. He lives in another town and I live in another town. So we have to work on it as time as time allows. Um, I did find an old mixtape. OK, this is like from 1990, 91. All right. This is an actual cassette that I sold out of the trunk of my car. This mix contains like old school house um what was back then techno uh some freestyle so this is an actual cassette that i sold out of the trunk of my car i used to run over to uh like an electronic store and buy a bunch of blank mixtapes and i would copy them and my way of being kind of creative i would take a marker and paint the cassette and write in my name um so this is an original mixtape. Now these, I have been remastering them little by little. And I do plan on releasing these all at once. All right. It's just a lot of work, man. I've got tons of mixtapes. Uh, but I don't have many of my original mixtapes. In fact, I'm going to ask you guys, if you do have some of my original mixtapes, especially like the Sad Girls, um, any mixtape that you have with my name, no CDs. Uh, no CDs. I'm talking about the actual cassettes. This is an original. All right. This was released in 1994, I believe, or 1995. Um, do I have a date on here? 1994. This was released in 1994. So this is an actual cassette. So if any of you guys have actual cassettes, if you can do me a huge favor, if you live in the Chicago area, I would be more than happy to go to your house and take a picture of those cassettes because I would like to make posters of them for myself or print canvas pictures uh, for myself so that I can show my kids. If you want to sell them to me, I'd be willing to buy some um, because I, I don't have any. Um, I do have the original Love Ballads Part 1. And I believe this was released in like 1991 or something like that. And I would sell this out of the trunk of my car as well. Um, and a lot of yous are going to be very surprised, but you don't have this. A lot of yous don't have this one. This is Niña Triste, Sad Girl in Spanish. Um, I am going to re-release this. I'm going to release this. And I know this is going to be one of the hottest mixtapes to sell um, because a lot of yous don't have it. I, I, when I released it, it was a very limited amount, um, that I had made. I was kind of like going through a, a, a process of trying, uh, to give up the DJ business, but it pulled me back in and here I am. 
Uh, so yes, I've been, I've been, I, I was never able to quit DJing. Thank God, um, I did very well, and obviously I have the crying game. This is one of the original mixtapes. So if you guys have any of the original Juan to Big Perez mixtapes, if you can send me a photo to my phone number seven seven three three seven zero sixty two twenty six. If you have a professional camera, take a picture. If you don't have a professional camera, let me know and we'll figure out a day and time that I can swing by and take a picture with my phone. Um, my kids are, you know, one year old and a four year old. And I would love for them, for me to be able to archive at least pictures so that when they get older, um, they have something to look at that their father made, you know, that I made. So it's, it's something that I really want to do. So if you guys can do me that favor, I really do appreciate it. So now I'm going to show you guys, uh, uh, the sad girl part two. Um, like I said, then the beginning here, this is sad girl part two with my parents and my sister. Okay. This is a drop that was in there and it's still going to be in there on the remastered version. But I added my wife, Juanita, and I added uh, Amariah, my four-year-old, and my one-year-old. And let me know what you guys think, all right? So that was, that was my mom, um, my dad, and my sister, okay? Uh, let me show it to you now with Juanita, Amariah, and Ave. So there it is. I added Juanita, I added Amaraya, and I added Ave. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. God bless you guys. If you have any questions in regards to my DJ service, feel free to contact me if you're having something this year. I just DJed at a quinceanera over the weekend. Um, so if you're having an event, quinceanera wedding, your DJ bailed out on you next year or this year, give me a call. If you're planning a new event, give me a call or text me, 773-370-6226. Um, if you want to pick up any of my mixtapes, if you want to pre-order the Sad Girls, um, just so that you guys know. Well, first of all, I want to thank you for everyone that has already pre-ordered. And, uh, you know, they are selling. They are going to be delivered in November. So if you guys want to get your pre-orders in, feel free to do so. Text me, 773-370-6226. It is a set of the entire collection, real CDs, and it's a pre-sale price of $150 for all six CDs. After I release them, all my mixtapes are going to go for $40 to $60 for each one. So that's a six CD series, okay? They're very expensive to make, so I ordered a limited amount. So as long as you get your pre-order in, you're guaranteed to get it at the $150 price for all six CDs. Text me or inbox me, 773 Three seven zero sixty two twenty six. Once I release them, more than likely for the whole set will be priced at three hundred dollars. So if you have somebody in mind that you want to give it to for Christmas, or you guys want to pick up a set for yourself, text me today seven seven three three seven zero sixty two twenty six. And I also have Crying Game One, Crying Game Two, Cry Baby One, Cry Baby Two, uh, Brown Pride Freestyle, and Untouchables. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for keeping my family in your prayers. And right now, I'm about to enjoy these tacos that Juanita made for me. Thank you, guys. Oh, I got to rotate the phone. Thank you, guys, for everything. Take care. God bless you.